as they get up there cleanly this time. And they're underway. Let's go, Asher! Hang on for a fast heat. Look at the runners from the inside. You know, you don't really like being on the inside lane, especially in a race this fast, because you can get tagged by somebody who has started to blend in from lanes, especially lanes three, four, and five. You see how sharp they are breaking in right here and a little pushing and shoving already. As they make their way down the back stretch and into the first turn for the first time, and that is Asher Molina on the outside. You see him in the black. Molina from Shawnee Mission North, the host school, the home favorite. St. Thomas Aquinas also in there. That is Ethan Marshall from St. Thomas Aquinas, also wearing bib eight, Tommy Hazen from St. Thomas Aquinas. And on the, the outside, that is Christian Bueller from Blue Valley Southwest, who is also in the fight, as well as Molina, kind of sitting back just a little bit. Justin France also back there from Olathe South. He is certainly more than capable, but you see him back in the pack in the white shirt and the white singlet. He is sitting in the middle of the stack right here, and that is not always an ideal place to be in a race that is this close and this fast. When you look at it in a statewide perspective here, there are 17 runners this year that have went 428 or under. There are seven here that have done that today. Uh, just one rider, eight that have done that 428 or under this year within this race right now. So some of the state's best. And as you see, it's all five and six here, except for one school. Riverton has a kid in J.P. Rutledge who had one of the top cross country times in the United States this year. And he had the last seat time. He is in the back right now. But that's how you get a fast time. So if you're from a 3A, 2A high school, you come here and run against these 5A, 6A guys, you're going to get a good time. Well, he's going to try. That is for sure right now. It is Tommy Hazen. Here comes Asher Molina, still kind of sitting back a little bit, and this is a pretty quick time. In fact, it is a very fast time. You're looking at about 2.12 at the split here. So you're looking at easily a sub 430 mile here. The pack continues to make their way around. It actually is a little bit, I want to say it's not slow, because it certainly isn't slow, but it certainly is a group right now, and you got to wait and see. Boy, somebody just about went down right there, and now starts to sprint to the outside, and that is from uh, Lansing. Terry Robinson almost went down from Lansing, and then Marshall, uh, Ethan Marshall from St. Thomas, uh, having a little bit of trouble as well, and uh, Marshall was leading there for a moment, now starts to fall back. You see the rest of the field come around. They'll have one lap to go when they hit the start-finish line. And this pack starting to string out just a little bit. That is Terry, Terry Robinson from Lansing, who has decided to try and take control of this race. You see him there with number three on his chest. St. Thomas Aquinas still giving chase as Tommy Hazen, who is still right there. Asher Molina is not a factor in any way, shape, or form. In fact, he is well back in the pack right here. You see him at the bottom of your screen, just crossing uh, the start-finish line a moment ago. But it is a two-person fight right now. And right now, it looks like that it is Robinson, Terry Robinson, from Lansing High School. Still working hard to see him in the maroon and black with the gray shorts. Still trying to give chase, that is Tommy Hazen, but Hazen's starting to fall back just a little bit. Harry Robinson, still looking strong. Hazen trying to give chase, not sure he can get him, just a little over 100 meters to go. Here comes Terry Robinson, pumping hard. Here comes Hazen trying to chase him down. Hazen closing the gap. Hazen really starting to turn it on, and he's gonna go by on the inside, and Tommy Hazen wins the 1600 meter run in an outstanding time of four minutes, 21 and 33 hundredths of a second. What a kick by Tommy Hazen. And Hazen with the second best time. That is the second fastest time 
I believe this year, Chad, the yeah, second fastest time in the state of Kansas this year, just outside of Hadley Spletcher out of 288 center at 418.99. And you can just see this absolute solid finish here as he uh, comes off the curb. Looks like he's dying a little bit, then just turns it on. Crowd cheering him on, and uh, the other guy struggling a little bit and just came on the inside there for the solid finish. And there's also his teammate was a state cross country champion in third or fourth back there as well. So this is an outstanding field that he won here today. Uh, that was a nice time by Robinson as well. And Terry Robinson just really tried to steal that, see if he could get out there, but just couldn't do it. Let's take a time out when we come back. The uh, boys and girls 400 meter relays when we return right after this.